All right, hey guys. So in this video, I'm just gonna be going over everything you need to wash your motorcycle and basically like how to wash it. Um, so it's, it's nothing really special, uh, washing a motorcycle. All you just need to remember is you kind of want to stay away from pressure washers. So for example, like this uh, Active 2.0, you really wouldn't want to use this on your motorcycle. And the reason why is just because it's putting out so much pressure, uh, it might go through some of the seals, like your fork seals, for example, or some of the electrics. Um, so when you're washing, you kind of just want to stick to just a regular water hose, just with a nozzle on it. That'll, that'll get you, uh, it's pretty much all you need. But with this one, I just have a quick connect on there so I could just change the nozzle out pretty quick. And then you want to use your microfiber towels whenever you're washing or drying. I just have a microfiber towel for drying. And then a microfiber wash mitt just to get it clean. And then for this bike specifically, since it's matte, I just have a matte wash. This one's by Chemical Guys. You could just use any soap, it doesn't really matter. Um, if your bike isn't matte, you could just use whatever soap you have. Uh, on my car, I use a Kosh Kimi Gentle Snow Foam. I like that one. It should work for motorcycles too, if you wanna try that one out. And then you just want to use a bucket uh in this one specifically i just have a grit guard so you don't have any dirt you know like recirculating in your water if you want to you can use a two bucket method um i don't really use it i know it's kind of like debated if it's even necessary but if you want to use the two bucket method you can but pretty much all i'll do i don't even measure it i just get some soap just pour it in the bucket, and that's pretty much it. And then just fill it with water. That's the nice thing about this uh, quick connect. You can just pop the nozzle off, and then you get more water coming out. And then for this motorcycle as well, I like to use a uh, shower cap on the seat just so I don't get a bunch of water on the leather seat and it's all soaked and then I gotta wait for it to dry and stuff. So I'll just come over here, put the shower cap on there. Fits perfect, looks like it was made for it, you know? And whenever you're washing, uh, you just wanna make sure the bike is off. If it's on, it's not gonna do anything. You know, you're supposed to, you could ride a motorcycle in the rain. I rode this motorcycle through a hurricane and never had any issues, so a little bit of water's not gonna hurt it. And then just to start, you just kinda wanna go ahead and wash the bike off, get off any dirt or anything that might be on the paint. don't have to really be super gentle with it because again everything on the motorcycle should be watertight you shouldn't have any issues with a little uh pressure from your garden hose shouldn't cause any problem just want to go around and spray everything off pretty good get off all the dust and everything get off any bugs that may be on the paint as much as you can those bugs stick pretty good but and the thing with uh washing 
cars or motorcycles, the more often you do it, the easier it is. But if you let um, a bunch of dirt and bugs and sap sit on there, and then you try and wash it like a month or two months later, it's gonna be a lot harder than if you're constantly washing your bike every like uh, two or three weeks. Usually I like to wash every week to two weeks just to make it look nice, you know? So then, let me add some more water to this bucket. So then I'll just get my microfiber wash mitt and just go around on the paint. Just uh, get it nice and clean. And every so often you just want to dip it back in the water just to get any contamination off the wash mitt so you're not, you know, accidentally scratching your paint. And the reason why on like a matte bike you want to use a matte wash is so you don't start polishing the matte paint because with most washes they have kind of, they have like a wax in it that adds shine to the paint. And if you have a matte bike, you don't want it to be super shiny. So that's kind of why you want to stick to a, a matte wash. And I mean, washing a bike is obviously going to be way faster than washing a car because you got a whole lot less to wash. So yeah, you just want to kind of get around everywhere, clean everything up pretty nice. Uh, this is also a good time since you're already going around the bike just to check if anything is loose or may have been damaged and you might not have noticed while you were riding, this is a good time to check that out. You know, you might wanna go ahead and check your uh, air pressure on your tires because you're gonna be down there. Just make sure you don't have any nails in your tire or anything like that. And then if you have a chain on your bike, you would probably want to lube it after you wash it because you're probably going to be washing most of the uh, oil that you have on that chain so it'll probably be running dry and might rust but this bike has a belt so i don't really have to worry about that but yeah whenever you're washing you don't really have to be super careful with it it's you know it's, it's a motorcycle it's supposed to be outside it's supposed to be in the rain you don't have to take extra care as long as you're not using a pressure washer if you're using a pressure washer then you kind of gotta i mean i just wouldn't use a pressure washer at all you know but yeah you can just go ahead and wash all the controls all that should be fine like the touch screen at least on this bike it's fine i've been doing this for uh as long as I had the bike and haven't had any issues. So just wanna get all around it. Let's get soap, get all that dust off. Let's get everything nice and lathered up. Depending how like dirty your bike is, um, you could use like wheel brushes and just go ahead and like clean in the wheels. Uh, my wheels aren't too dirty again because I wash the bike so often. It's not really necessary right now. Oh, another important thing to remember is whenever you're washing a bike or a car, you kind of want to do it in the shade out of direct sunlight because you don't want the soap drying on your paint it'll it might stain the paint and like mess it up so just be wary of that a lot of people say like why do i like i've seen people tell other people that and they're like oh that's stupid why why would i have to wash the bike out of the sunlight that's why it's just so you don't have the soap stick to the paint and mess it up but now that I got that all lathered on there and agitated, I'll just go ahead and get the water hose again and just 
wash it off. Make sure you get all the soap off you can. Because again, you don't want that soap drying on there and staining anything. So now that I got that all washed off, I'll just come in with the uh, microfiber towel and just get it nice and dried off. And it's pretty much all she wrote. Um, so going back to like what I was saying, you kind of want to check all your hardware, anything that may be on the bike. Um, a few weeks ago, I had one of these screws for the uh, fairing on the windshield pop off and I wasn't diligent enough. I didn't catch it. I just lost the screw, so I had to uh, reach out to Memphis Shades and ask if they could send me another one. You know, they were nice enough. They sent me one for free, so, you know. But that's why you kind of want to be vigilant and check everything, make sure your mirrors are on there nice and tight, because the last thing you want to be doing is riding down the road and your mirror falls off or something. Um... Yeah, there's no there's no specific way that you really need to dry you just kind of want to make sure you get most of that water off because you don't want water spots on your paint or anything making it look bad I like to I like to wash my car and my bike so often just because I feel like it uh I don't know I feel like it that's like the first thing most people see before they even see your face it's gonna be your car or your bike you know so if that looks good you're already off to a good start you know it's just like uh it's like an extension of yourself at least that's the way I see it because if you pull up in a I mean, it's not necessarily true, but the way I see it is like if you pull up in a dirty car or like a, on a dirty bike, they're going to be like, oh, this guy doesn't give a fuck, you know? I mean, that's not necessarily true. Oh, shit. My, my glasses off. <laughs> that's, that's just the way I see it. Um, that's pretty much it. You know, you got you got the bike washed, you got it dried. Nothing, nothing crazy complicated about it. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I actually ordered a new exhaust for this bike. It's a Freedom Performance Two in One. So I'll probably be doing like a install video on that. Uh, if anybody's interested in seeing that. Uh, it's probably going to be coming out soon. I'm also looking into uh, getting with the Indian dealership and getting a two to one on this bike. I mean, a uh, stage two on this bike with the upgraded cams and everything. So I'll probably detail that whole process and see how much it costs and everything and uh, just try and 
help anybody out who's trying to get it done. Uh, I feel like the reason why I made this video is because, you know, not everybody knows how to wash a motorcycle per se. Like you may think like, oh, it's, it's common sense, but you have people who, you know, want to get into motorcycles and they're thinking about everything and they don't really think about like how to wash it per se. And then they're like, oh, I got a pressure washer. I could just use that. And then they, they mess their motorcycle up or something. And they have to deal with electrical issues or something. So that, that was just kind of why I wanted to make this video and just show like the whole process, how to do it and how to take care of matte paint to make it, you know, stay looking nice and matte and not kind of weird and shiny. Uh, besides that, I think that's gonna conclude the video. Uh, if you watched all the way through, thank you. Um, I'm close to hundred subscribers, which is pretty crazy to me. But, you know, if you ride, ride safe. If you drive, drive safe. And uh, catch you later.